What's going on everybody? Thank you for joining me for another one. This one is going to be a Delta cleat installation, which these cleats are used for Peloton bikes and maybe some other indoor cycling bikes. So you just got to check which bike you need. But I know for sure this is what Peloton uses. I got the Look Delta cleat. Everything that's in this box, it comes with here is the cleats, two of them. You got the washers and you got six screws. All right, so the screw is a hex screw. So you need a four millimeter hex wrench, which is separate. So if you don't have that, I'll link one in the description below. I'll also be linking these cleats in the description below in case you wanna check them out if you need to buy another pair. The shoes I'm using today, I'm gonna to show the installation on, are the Nike Super Rep Cycle Shoes. Okay, so they look like this. They got Delta Cleat compatible and SPD compatible, okay? I got a good review on this as well. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll link up the video up there and in the description below. But again, this is their Nike version of the indoor cycling shoes. All right, so here we go. All right, so this backing, depending on which version of the Super Red Cycle shoe you have, or depending on your shoe, this is extra, or sometimes, I know on the newer pair of Super Rep Cycles, they have this um, backing already inside here. So your shoe might not come with it if you have these. All right, so what you need to do is, you need to take the sole out of the shoe. Okay, just put that to the side. As you can see, there's a little padding here. It's gray, so it's blocked out. So what I usually do, take that wrench, pop it right through, take this out. Okay, so this is that foam that was inside the shoe. And this is where the backing comes in, okay? So the backing for the shoe was separate. Again, some shoes already have it already threaded, so you can just put the screws in without having a backing in. All right, so as you can see there, it adds those threads to the three holes, which compares to here. Okay, the three holes. All right, once you got that in, go ahead and take your cleat, okay? So the Delta cleats, the red ones, it has a nine degree float, if you can see that right there, nine degree float. So that means that's referring to this black part right here. It's gonna give you about a four and a half tilt, free tilt on each side once you have the cleat installed. Okay, so you're gonna put this in, put it through right there. If your cleat is already has it already and you don't need to put it in, then you don't need to. Okay, so the backing for this right there, black part. This is the bottom. Make sure that backing does not fall out. So you gotta kind of hold it. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta put it in right here. Here we go, just line it up right there, okay? So the positioning we can figure out later, it's gonna just depend on your foot. But most of the time, the cleat, it should be about, about the ball area of your foot. So again, you, need, you might need to adjust it. You might try it out and adjust it. Okay, so we're just gonna put in one screw just to hold it in, hold the backing in. Again, we'll tighten it later. Washer again, put it right there. Put that in. Okay, so again, you need this hex wrench to install the cleat. Okay, sometimes I have seen Delta cleats that have a Phillips screwdriver screw, which makes it a little bit easier since that's a more common screw. But this one, it came with the hex screw, so you need the wrench. Okay, and then just loosely put it in, okay? Kind of adjust it. Kind of maybe center it first if you want. Kind of just estimate where the, your ball of your foot is going to be. And then we tighten it up. Tighten your screw. One thing is when you are first installing your cleats, make sure you put those screws in pretty tight, okay? Not so tight that you're going to over thread the screw, but you need it tight, okay? If they're loose, your cleat might fall out, might get stuck to the might get stuck to the pedal or you're gonna have a really hard time getting your foot out of the pedal okay and I'll, I'll demonstrate a little bit kind of give you an idea of how to get your feet out of the the pedal okay because it is a little bit hard to get it out the first time you've done it if you've never done it before so make sure it's nice and tight okay again 
you might need to adjust it later on the positioning just depending on how you feel so again there it is it's nice and solid probably line up the washers a little bit better for yourself okay so that's nice and tight screwed in you take this foam padding put it right back in inside okay so it's gonna just fit right in it's just like a puzzle okay once you got that in take this hole put it right back in all right you're all set to go there you go all right go ahead and clip in so again my tip for when you are clipping out of a pedal what you want to do if this is your foot you're gonna turn your heel out turn your heel out and pull okay so if my hand is the the pedal you clip in right you clip in you kind of just have to feel it out there's no real secret to clipping in perfectly you kind of just feel out where the where the clip is clip in and then when you're done trying to get out turn the heel out and clip out all right so again super rep cycle shoes delta cleat you got one in i'll do the other one but for a comparison i do have this one this is the spd cleat Okay, so this is a very typical indoor cycling. A lot of gyms, if you're doing this, at, if you're taking indoor cycling at the gym, they have these kind of cleats, okay? So depending on where you go, if you're not using this for Peloton, if you're gonna do like a gym class, you gotta see what kind of cleat pedals that that bike that they use have, okay? So comparison, look, huge difference between the size of the cleats, right? Delta here, big triangle. SPD a lot smaller again SPD use the same screws okay same hex screws so I can use that same wrench for both okay and again ball of your feet these are the Nike Su super rep cycle shoes so they're compatible with all two kinds of cleats as you can see okay it has holes so it's kind of a cool shoe to have if you're going to be using it for different rides <laughs> okay and so again check out that review i'll link it in the description below there you have it got that look delta cleat installed nice and simple really fast all right again if you haven't checked out the rest of my channel i got indoor cycling rides that you can use your cleats with okay with your indoor cycling bike I got other workouts, I got HIIT workouts, cardio workouts, they're all workouts that you can do right there at home. All right, so again, if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you thought it was educational to you and if you got your cleats in. And until next time, remember, stay fit, stay flexed, and I'll see you in the next video.